The wine is ready, my lord. Your sister will pour. Once they're all seated, give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. But your family has suffered. It's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. I don't need your sympathy. I agree to your father's terms. That's all there is to say. I wish I could believe that. But I know you too well. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry. But things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asher. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asha. I knew I could trust you. Begging your pardon, my lord. I'm afraid Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asha. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the poison? Of course, my lord. Elissa, ah. I'm sorry it's come to this. But at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Huh. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher, now who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You're not my father, Lord. Do you think I'll ever call you son? Don't flatter yourself. 
If I wasn't so bloody soft-hearted... Father, please. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia, won't you fetch the wine for his lordship? We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? How dare you? You think you have any power here? What'll it take for you to learn to show respect? How many more foresters do I have to kill? Calm down, father. Ash has been amongst the Cellsword so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. So, Lord Forrester, you made your way as a soul sword out there, did you? Eh, a little rape, a little murder, anything for the right price. <sighs> and your family must be so proud, and all those bed slaves a soul sword must enjoy across a narrow sea. Ah, oh, I can't imagine how my sister will be able to please you. And you set back on a horse when we last drew swords. But your family will sing about that for years. You've quite the mouth on you, Forrester. How'd you like me to shove my sword down it? Eh, not so much. Enough, bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griff, and let's drink. A toast. We should make a toast. Aye. What shall we toast to? Come on then, let's hear it. To Gwyn, my betrothed. Without you, none of this could happen. To, to, to Gwyn. No, no, no. This isn't right. You first, then me. In the way of the North. Come, Forrester. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Let me. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. Iron from ice. Mother. Not bad. <coughs> water. Bring me water. He's joking. Help him. You. <coughs> you. You fucking poisoned me. <coughs> Goodbye, Asher. Uh, 
Betrayed! They killed my father! Attack! Attack! Take down the gate! We can't fight that many! We're doomed! If they breach the gate, we're done for! We can't fight the entire White Hill Army! My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course, my lord. I want to stay with you, Asher. Please, Talia. Command. We have to retake the gate! We have to retake the gate! Watch out those bastards! This is the war you promised, Mr. Rossi! It's not over yet! Asha! Long way to die. <laughs> Let's see you live up to your reputation. Ha 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 
What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. 
Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how it's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family no! name! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Shame! Raymond! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! No! Iron from ice! Neil!
Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. There was no thought of how fragile my position with the Lannisters was. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tull. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Chabbing out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. But afterward, his uncle told me the truth. That Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. He had gave up all he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end. If not my help. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
We haven't much time. 